Hey, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna talk about why as a coach, doing one-to-one -one coaching is actually a terrible idea and will lead you to never being able to scale your business. And I'll provide a solution. Let's get into it. So firstly, if you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is John Pemothy. I'm the founder of adclients.com, where we help you create, launch, and scale your courses and your coaching programs. And I'm pleased you're here. Listen, if you're watching this, chances are you're a coach or you sell courses and you have been including one-to-one -one in your offer. If you are stuck in that way of building your business right now, it's a very, very slippery slope. You're not gonna be able to scale and you're actually not gonna be able to get the best results for your potential clients. And if you're already doing one-to-one -one coaching in your model and, and, and in your business, you're already experiencing some of these problems, you know, most likely. You are struggling to get people to sign up to your coaching, and if they do, you realize that you're really not charging enough, and it's sucking up so much of your time, right? Like every time you interact with a client now, not only have you got all of this back and forth to sign them up, now you've got all this back and forth and specifically one-to-one, -one, which is manual work to service those clients. So what's gonna end up happening is two things if you try to scale that business. Number one, you're gonna hit a ceiling. You're gonna hit a natural ceiling where you can no longer scale that coaching business because there's only so many clients that you can meet with on a day-to-day -day basis uh, before you've maxed out your calendar. The second problem is that you're gonna burn out, right? If you try to scale further than that, it's eating into your family time, it's eating into your you know, relaxation time, it's eating into your, you know, it's going into late nights and now you're burning out and you can't scale. The whole model is limited, but people do it because we think that's the only way to get clients results. We think that for someone to have a transformation with our training and with our coaching, we've got to meet them one-to-one, -one, be it in person or on Zoom or however you do it, it seems that that's the vehicle and it's really, really not true. And there's another group of you that are watching this right now that perhaps you haven't got into one-to-one -one coaching yet, but you are trying to get your business going and you're still trying to figure out what direction you should go and the one-to-one -one coaching route is an option for you, um, I'm going to save you some time and some headache and I'm going to give you the ability to actually scale and do that predictably and have it built around your lifestyle by avoiding one-to-one -one coaching. So before we get into this lesson and this video, let me preface one thing that's very, very important. I'm not saying that one-to-one -one coaching is bad and I'm not saying that you should never do it. I'm saying that it should be brought into your offer at the right time at the right place and only if it's actually necessary and for some of you, you don't even need to be doing one-to-one -one coaching and for others of you, it could be a part of your offer but not the entire offer. There are ways for you to leverage other deliverables, other ways to get your clients the results that they're looking for without the need for you to manually jump in and do one-to-ones all the time. So I'm not saying it's bad, I'm not saying you should never do them but you've got to make sure that it's built into your offer in the right way. So the easiest way that I can explain this would actually be to do a bit of doodling on the, on the board here. Let's say you've got client over here and they are at a one and you're trying to get them to their future self that's a 10. One is where they are right now. They're stuck, they're overwhelmed, they're struggling, they have problems. You as a coach, as a trainer, as an expert, you have the solutions to their problems. So you want them to sign up as a client so that you can take them on a journey of transformation. You can take them from a one to a 10. 10 being they now have the result. If you're a marketing coach, they now have effective marketing that's helping to grow their business. If you're a business consultant or coach, then they now have better systems and structures in their business, they're feeling good. If you are an anxiety coach, they are now feeling more confident in the, do you see what I'm saying? Number 10 is the solution that you've got for them. Now the problem that a lot of coaches are facing is that to get them from a one to a 10, they're doing one-to-one -one sessions. These little blue lines symbolize one-to-one -one sessions. So to get them from a one to a two, we had to have that first introductory session and we started working some things through and then the next session, next session, and so on and so forth until we get into a 10. Now, we also know that not everyone is going to get the result. It doesn't matter how many one-to-ones you have with someone, someone is just getting stuck here. Doesn't matter how many one-to-ones, they're just not getting off the, off the starting line and those clients are frustrating for you because you know you've got something good and you know that you're giving them the goods but they're not implementing. They're not quite getting it and so they are staying stuck. So one-to-ones is not necessarily the answer to get them to a 10 and even if it is, it took all of your manual work. 
Now I wanna give you a tip and I teach this to my clients in great detail and I wanna share a bit of it with you right now. We can leverage different types of automated assets. We can, we can utilize other things that essentially leverage our time. We don't have to be doing it manually. So let me give you an example of this. Let's say this green is an online training portal, okay? This is where when a client first signs up to you, you don't offer them a one-to-one -one session straight away. You don't just get a, a calendar booked out with calls with them. The first thing you have them do is log into your membership area, and it's very easy to put one of these together, where you've got a set of videos. Doesn't need to be big, doesn't need to be loads. It could only be two videos, it might be 10, it might be 20, who knows? But you have a set of videos for them to go through. And here's what the content of this training area is gonna contain. You are going to put into video form all the stuff that is repetitive, right? Every client you've ever worked with, to get them from a one to a four, there are gonna be things that you do over and over and over again. It might not be getting them to all the way to a 10, but there's certainly some stuff that could get them to a four, meaning they can start to get a result. They can start to fill out some homework. They can get closer to the end result. This might be, you know, picture your first one-to-one -one session that you do with every client. Is there a, a regular set of questions that you ask every single client? Well, why do you have to do that on a one-to-one -one call? Okay, why can't you just put that into some kind of documentation, send that out to them to fill in, and then send that back to you? It's gonna take you five to 10 minutes to look over that and get the same information, and you didn't need to be on a one-to-one -one call. It might be that there are certain exercises that you take your clients through, whether that's physical or mental or whatever it is, there are certain exercises that you take them through, that you coach them through. Do you need to be doing that on a one-to-one -one call or could you record you doing those exercises? Could you record taking them through those processes and have them do it in their own time and then just give you feedback on how it went? Now you might say, well, John, there's a couple of things I have to do one-to-one. -one. John, I just have to. I gotta speak to them. I gotta figure out what they got going on. Then that's fine. Then they can be the kind of things that you do to get them on the final part of the journey. Okay, I'm talking about the repetitive stuff that you could automate, all of you, all of you, all of you could get them from a one to a four with just recorded training. Now for some people, you'll find your training could get them up here, could get them to a six or a seven. I've got training programs that I put a great deal of uh, time and energy into the training to make sure it's perfect, make sure it's really, really good, make sure it's so clear, so easy to follow, that now I don't need to coach. I don't need to do one-to-ones because my training is so darn good. So the better you make your training, the more you can actually remove yourself from the process. And guess what? Your clients aren't upset, okay? Because you, what you've got to realize is your clients, they don't want you, they want the result. The only reason they're even in a, in a coaching relationship with you is because they believe that going through you is the way to get the result because your marketing has presumably been pretty good. So it's all about just switching the narrative here a bit to realize that actually they don't need to come to you to get the result. Actually, they can go through your training and get the result. And there are other areas of support as well. Now for some of you, there are other things that we can include in here that actually eliminate one-to-ones altogether. So what we can do is we can have, let's put a line here, uh, and in between here, again, this is just a rough, a rough idea of you know, getting someone from completely clueless, still had their problems, to the solution. We can use resources as well. You know, If you can templatize stuff, if you can give them homework, if you can give them assignments, if you can give them checklists, things like this, if you can take the time to put some documentation together, some resources, then that can really, really help. And that, again, alleviates their need to keep coming to you, asking you these questions because you've already got it all documented out. And finally, you can actually use group coaching in, in most cases to fill the final gap. You can use group coaching in a Facebook group with that community. You can have weekly group calls. Um, you can have these group coaching elements that actually mean that you never need to do any one-to-ones, okay? I've got many, many clients of mine that have gone from charging $40 an hour for one-to-one -one coaching, which is, just seems mind-blowing now when they look back on that, to now having $5,000 coaching programs, and there's not a hint of one-to-one -one in those programs, and guess what? Their clients are winning, okay? It's just a shift in the way you're structuring your business, and finally, like I mentioned, there are a few of you 
that definitely do want to do one-to-one. -one. And that's fine. Then what you do is you make that like the final piece. Maybe you only give them three one-to-one -one sessions as opposed to what would have been perhaps 10. So you've leveraged all these other things, training, community, group coaching, resources, documentation, guides. You've leveraged all of that stuff to get that off of your plate. And now only the final three sessions could be one-to-one -one, and they only get those once they've completed all the other stuff so that you know that they're serious and that they're action takers. It actually makes the very few one-to-ones that you do do, they actually make them far better because they've now shown that they're action takers so you'll actually enjoy those calls even more. So in summary, one-to-ones is not a bad thing, but if you're building your business entirely on one-to-ones right now, you will not be able to scale. I've got something that I teach called the offer triangle and there's three parts. You've got to make sure every offer satisfies client results, lifestyle, your lifestyle, and scalability. Now I've got a video on that. If you want to hear about it, we'll leave a link here or in the description box. You can check out how to structure an offer to make sure that it satisfies those three things. But this is a big piece to that. It's a big part. So I hope this was helpful for you. If it was, and you would be interested in some kind of coaching relationship with me, if you want to learn more about what it is that I do, how I help our clients, um, then go ahead and click the link in the description box. That'll take you to uh, a page where we've got a bit of information on our own coaching. Right now in my coaching business, adclients.com, we're doing about $350,000 a month cash collected, okay? Uh, we have scaled far beyond um, you know, where, where we ever thought we would get to, if I'm being totally honest, and it's because we know how to structure our offers, we know how to make sure our clients are winning, but we know how to make sure that we're actually built for scale and built for lifestyle. If you want some of that, uh, we can teach it, and we can teach it very effectively. So go ahead and click the link, check it out, and, uh, and, and inquire about becoming a client. You can chat to someone on my team, see if it's a good fit. Outside of that, go ahead and like the video, drop me a comment, let me know that you enjoyed this video, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, turn on the bell notification. We put out a couple new videos every single week that I think you'll really enjoy. So with that, hope you found this helpful and I'll see you again soon.